doing the end abortion now dance. We can do it in the Cross Politics Studios. Hey. So during first segment, during the first segment, I, I mentioned George Grant. Yes. And then we got Marcus on, and and then it suddenly suddenly something clicked, and I remembered something. This Sunday, so we're talking about church calendar. Yes. This Sunday on the church calendar, it's the second Sunday of Christmas actually. But it's also the, the, the Sunday in which the church has historically um, celebrated right. what's called Childer Mass, which is the Sunday that Uh-oh. solemnizes the slaughter of the children of Judea by King Herod following the birth of Jesus. Mm. It's, this is the Sunday. And this is what George Grant actually posted this yesterday on uh, Facebook. He said, Childer Mass, the Sunday following Christmas, solemnizes the slaughter of the children of Judea by King Herod following the birth of Christ. It has traditionally been a reminder of the Christian church's commitment to protect and preserve the sanctity of human life, thus serving both as a prophetic warning against infanticide and abortion and as a provocation to repentance in the face of such unmitigated evil. Wow. So this, this show is actually going to be dropping Sunday night, um, which is that Sunday um, in which the Christian church throughout the world for, for the last 20 centuries, roughly, um, has actually set apart this Sunday. You know, there's there's Sanctity of Human Life Sunday, and there's other Sundays that the modern church has also set apart. But um, this is one of the more historically rooted Sundays in which the church remembers um, that even at the birth of Christ, um, little babies were killed, mm. um, and 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 Jesus was born into that. And the church remembers that, remembers um, the fact that that those those little ones. Um, that lost their lives. Yeah. Um, they they're they're saints, they're martyrs. Amen. Um, um, they're victors, they're heroes, and and when we celebrate them, we also remember and we celebrate all the other little ones um, that have lost their lives unjustly, um, and and we and we stand we stand against that, yeah. um, and we ask God to end it. Um, I think one of the important things, too, about all of this that's, I think, connected to the church being at the center of this is that all of these other things are important. Um, bring, you know, sharing on Facebook, yep. um, uh, bringing pressure to bear on the media and on the legislatures and that's so right. on. Um, but, of course, the, the reason why the church is so important is that we recognize that our power is in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, our, our power Amen. fundamentally is in the Holy Spirit, and that means that it's the preaching of the gospel, it's the celebrating of the sacraments, it's singing your hearts out to God. Yeah. Um, that yeah. that we are asking God fundamentally to end this. Yeah. Um, but just like everything else that the people of God do out throughout the centuries, they you know God says, "Go to the Red Sea, and I'm going to wa- stand there and watch." Yeah. And when the enemies of, of Israel are coming down, they 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 stand there and they wa- they're terrified. They think this is not working. And God says, no, stand there and watch. Um, our job is to be obedient. So you share, That's you know, right. you, you preach, um, you, you, you go to the clinic, you, you, you go to the clinics, <laughs> you write the letters to your legislators, you, you, you make all this go, but you recognize that none of it adds up to the end of abortion right. unless right. the Holy Spirit changes people's hearts. That's right. Um, that's why the church has right. to be at the center of this. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be that kind of victory. At the end of it, we're not going to be able to look back and say, oh, look what we did. That's right. Come we're, on now. We're, we're going to look back and we're going to say, look at what God did. Right? <laughs> hey, well, you, ooh, that organ came Sorry. in right in time. Sorry. Did, did Diana, Diana, use the, Diana use the church organ anymore? <laughs> you just... <laughs> oh, Marcus, I just played it. You uh, couldn't hear it. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, <laughs> you couldn't hear it. <laughs> but me and you are thinking just to like, you know, that's why I, um, one of the things I really loved about what Apology is doing, there are other ministries out there that have pro, that are pro-life ministries. But one thing that I notice that a lot of them lack is the centrality of the church. There, There is no victory in, in ending abortion or anything that we're doing if, like you said, the Holy Spirit isn't involved, if our churches aren't engaged in this process. And, and one of the things that I've noticed is that um, th- parachurch ministries – um, I, I prefer they come out of the church. Sure. That's, that's my goal. That's my heart. And so Apologia is kind of has that wonderful merger, right? Mm-hmm. Where they have a pastor who's running the, the parachurch ministry on the site and it's, in, and it's coming back and said, Hey, our church should be doing this. 
you know, this is this is this is loop that's happening, and yep. I love that. And I I think there'd be I want them to be like a virus. <laughs> <laughs> right, because, and affect other churches around them. You because know? parachurch organizations that are disconnected from the church ultimately just become special interest groups. And th- that's what I've seen. And 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 that's important to recognize that we don't we are not just another special interest group. That's right. We we are the uh, we are the 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 colonization of the world for for the the kingdom of God. Right. So every church, <laughs> every church is a is a kingdom outpost. Yeah. And every time we meet. We meet together as the people of God and we say, Jesus has done something to change the course of history. And here we, we bow our knees and our heads to the, to the Lord. And then we walk out of there with his blessing to take that blessing to our streets. Amen. Yeah. Right? Amen. Yeah. Um, I think the other th- and, 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 and the other, the other thing is, too, uh, that it, we, we can easily overcome objections from the pro-choice movement. When they talk about, oh, well, are you going to adopt all these babies? We can be like, yeah, we'd love to bring them into covenant. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd love, love we'd love to baptize covenant. them. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll bring them in. So, <laughs> oh, Jake, cover your ears. So, Jake, cover your ears. Really adopt them, or yeah. you know, if you're Presbyterian, you baptize them too. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's absolutely right. So, it's absolutely right, though, because that's exactly right. We are a family. That's right. That will we, we will take the children. Yeah. We will, Absolutely. we will, we will do the foster care. Yes, we we will. will do the adoption, and we and, and this goes back to Gabe's point. Are we ready to push the button? Right, that's what I was going to get to. Right, right, right. right. Are we going to push the button because it will mean, it will mean that that we'll we will change. have. You got to be all in. We, yeah. we have many, many children then that we will need to care for. Yes, and and single moms and broken but, families but, and. But this goes back to what you said. What's the highest commodity on this planet right now? People. People are the highest commodity. Right. That's what we want. Right. <laughs> Right. We want the babies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we want the highest commodity yeah. on this planet. Well, for the f- last 50 years in America, since Roe v. Wade, we've been flushing down the toilet, oh. right? Oh. Um, uh, all of this creativity and beauty and God glory that, that oh. God uh, is, has wanted to give us. All these people. Artists. And yeah, we've been saying, no, Lord. Yeah. These, are, these are artists and these are novelists and these are moms and dads and, and these are school teachers and preachers and evangelists and car mechanics and astronauts. And right? they're all made in the image of they're God. They're made in the image of God. Yeah. And, and when, they're, when they're welcomed and loved as the church is called to do, right? To yeah. care That's for right. the orphan and the widow in their distress, uh, God blesses that. And, you, and what you find out, though, is it's going to be a crazy mess. Yeah. It's going to yeah, be a crazy of mess. Of course. If you do any kind of ministry like this, it, you know, foster care, uh, mercy ministry, this kind of stuff, it's a mess. And that's when you know that the only way this is going to succeed is if God is in it. Yeah. Right. And if you don't feel that kind of desperation, something's wrong. Mm. That's how you know you need the Holy Spirit. Right. Amen. And, and, but Amen. that's what we that's need. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And we need, so we need to push the button. So so here's a here's the thing. So we were talking about this earlier before you got here, Pastor. Uh, okay. And Marcus, you're you talking jumped, behind my back. We were. We, you were late though. So let's not. You know, I don't know. Man, just say you had a counseling session. I don't know if that'll fly because I know it's your day off. <laughs> On his day so, off. Uh, I was but, playing a game with my son. Uh, oh, okay. Does that work? Yep. Highest commodity, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You win. <laughs> but, Image of God. But Gabe said, and I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but Gabe said, uh-huh. I don't think abortion would end. Um, no, I, what, basically what I was saying was I don't think the church is ready to end abortion now. And I think if they were at the legislative table and they could press the easy button and sign the legislation to end abortion now, I don't think they have the faith to stomach the results of what would happen. It's kind of like God trying to bring Israel out of Egypt. Mm-hmm. They're not ready for it. Yeah. They're like, uh, we don't really want to go. Yeah. yeah. yeah I don't, you know, there's a, well, you know, okay, maybe I'm around the, the two spies that are well, ready but, to but, take Canaan. But, but, here's, <laughs> but, but here's part of the problem is we've been, we've been at this for 40 years and all the legislative efforts have been kind of disconnected from the church for one thing. Yeah, that's and, true. And then, and then secondly, the legislative efforts are like, they're like negotiate, negotiating things. Yeah. You know, oh, we'll do the heartbeat or we'll do 20 weeks or we'll. Yeah, I and, agree. And if yeah. they could get to the table with an end abortion now, and we've already seen this like uh, uh, in Oklahoma where uh, you guys, Apologia, Apologia interviewed the the national um, right to life, right to life guy yep. in Oklahoma. And he, even, yeah, he even admitted that he wasn't going to sign or yeah. wasn't pushing for any, any abortion. I don't. But most of the Christians that saw that were confused and perplexed about what that was about. Yeah. I think a lot of them were. And here's here's the thing. When I babies are murdered here to me, change the uh, this is a Mark. This is a Marcus Pittman documentary. Um, it changed how I viewed people who are in the pro-life movement Mm -hmm. i think they're ignorant yeah i think they're i was this is a short story 
talking to a lady at a Christmas party a couple years back. She is at, um, I want to call it um, the, the murder mill. She's at the murder mill every week. She's out there preaching every week, trying to save babies, trying to witness to people, get people saved. And um, I said, man, praise God for what you're doing, sis. One day abortion will end. And she looked at me and she belly laughed. Yeah. And she belly laughed. Now, listen, this is a woman who's out there every week preaching, talking to people. I mean, just giving her life for these people. And then the concept of abortion ending isn't real to her. Yeah. And I, I looked at her and I said, what's so funny? <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying I mean, to do? She's like, look, I'm just supposed to be out there. I'm just supposed to be doing it, but I don't think it will actually end. And I looked at her and I said, somebody thought the same thing about slavery. Yeah. But I'm here now. Mm-hmm. You know, so don't, don't. So I think that what. Right. There was there was a Supreme Court ruling <laughs> that said, right? <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Right? The Dred Scott case. Yes. Right. right? Yes. Set, and, and it was it was the law of the land. Right. That's right. That that that, that a black man couldn't have the you know wasn't free. wasn't yeah. wasn't free. Yeah, that's right. Didn't have the same rights as all the rest of the people. And 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 the people who say it's the law of the land, it's not going to change. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. My God works miracles. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think my so, my challenge but, there is here, for the church to to want it to end. I to th- want it to want to trust in God. I for think an, they and, do. And ready I, for I think the church wants that. I believe that if you put an easy button in front of a person, a Christian person at a church, or the church itself, and said, if you hit that. Would you be happy with abortion ending? They would hit it, yeah. I, but they don't know where that button is. Right. And, well, I also, I also think though. I think maybe this is what you're getting at, Gabe. Is I also don't think they do really realize all that that would entail. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're afraid to push it. I think they push it, you know, because we're just a button pushing culture. Right. Right. <laughs> we're like we right. got iPhones. <laughs> we're, we're like we're mic- microwave culture, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it's like yeah. instant, you know, instantaneous gratification kind of thing. I think this is the one danger. The one danger that needs to be thrown out there with all of the, I agree with the whole point about share, 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 yeah. um, use social media and so on. The one danger, of course, is that it's easy to sort of share a bunch of stuff and then and then think not. You've done something. I think you you haven't actually interacted with people. No, that's and, right. And that's again where it comes back to the church. The church is a place where there's real human beings, flesh and blood. That's right. You know, people that dress differently than you, talk differently than you, think differently than you. Yep. Uh, that you got to bump up against. You know, it's it's easy to be part of a church on the internet. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Right, you can log yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, but that's why we're. That's why I but, like this. It's a three part attack. It's right, a trinitarian it is. attack. I, I think it's that's one of three, and I, that's why the church is at the top of I it. I think that's yeah. really, really important. I think that's why. So you you share, and then when you get the pushback from your liberal, you know, friend or neighbor or you know, old college roommate. You gotta engage. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't just in, don't just share and then ignore them. You gotta engage with with the love of Christ, with the gospel. Yeah. That's actually one of the reasons why I really like this campaign is because it, I looked at the media and I looked at the legislation and then I say none of those are going to get touched right. if it's not first coming from the church because yeah. it takes people to engage people right. <laughs> to, to affect right. legislation and both media, which involve people. Right. But the church people have to go out and touch other people. Right. And that's, you know, that's kind of the, the key thing, which is kind of amazing. If the church was acting more like the church... We probably would be further along, but I right. think there's a revival that's happening. Right. I really, I really believe that. I think the fact that we've got this going on from Apologia yes. is a testimony of that. That we're like, you know, I can't remember a major pro-life movement in my lifetime that, that was like, being led by the church. That, that was like self-consciously, like right up there, up yeah. front, saying this is not going to succeed unless the church. Mm. Owns this yeah. unless right. the church owns this, it's not going to succeed. That's really, really crucial. So, right. Marcus. Obvious, yeah. Obviously, if we're doing this, it's going to take some money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what is the first step? What are you guys trying to do? How much do you need to raise in order for this to become a reality? So we had a guy contact us, and he said that he was going to match all donations up to $125,000. Oh, praise God. Yeah. Wow. So, so, Way to go. Just so, uh, praise God for that man. Yeah, seriously. Way to man. go. Seriously. <laughs> Way to go, sir. Yeah. So I now I think it's important to mention that a lot of people can be involved in fighting abortion just by running their business well. Come on now. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Right. I, got, I got an organ here for you. Wait, hold on. <laughs> 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 Run your business well. <laughs> wait, wait. So, so explain that, Marcus. Yeah, explain the run the your business well. What do you mean? What do you mean? What does running your business well have to have do to with, do in with abortion. abortion? In abortion now. Well, you know, it, t- it takes money to be able to create media and to be able to, uh, you know, buy the camera equipment and hire people and 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 to 
it doesn't take as much money. Uh, right. So if you look at like TBN's tax returns, they spend millions of dollars a year on FCC licenses and satellite equipment. Right. 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 So it doesn't take that much money. Uh, so I, we it just takes money just to hire people and just to get the job done. Yeah. Uh, and so so the distribution Facebook's paying all our distribution costs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, that's right. So so we don't we don't right. So we don't have to we don't have to do any of that until they figure and out what so, you're doing. But, but we still <laughs> we still need people. Yeah, we still need people who are working really hard at their jobs that can fund these efforts and that can invest in legislation and 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 all, what all the you know whatever print resources or signage or the plane tickets or pastors to come out and so we've budgeted for the year uh, this year two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars and and we're going to build a new studio buy new cameras we're going to uh, create a website that unites all the churches with all the resources a and network content. that's you guys are building a network for people right Say that again. You guys are building a network for people to engage each other with. So, like, if there's a if you're across the country and you see another church doing, it, say, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" Right. Right. They can they can just go to endabortionnow dot com, and everything will be there. Right. Mm -hmm. Localized so, one so, place. So, I love it. Right. So it's like a beacon that that people can unite behind, and that everybody's on the same page. Everyone's getting the same information. And we can work together, and so so that we'll, so that for an example that Jeff brought up was when Oklahoma had the law that was going to uh, end abortion completely that Tony Larringer was fighting against. Nobody knew about it, and, and so we found out about it and we broadcasted it, and then people knew. But by that time, it was too late. Right. But if I remember we have that. all the churches, but but if we can have all the churches around the country know. Legislation is in, in effect for this state. Legislation is in effect for this state. Right, in right. advance, yeah. we have all the churches contacting the senators and stuff even before the legislation is written yeah. um, from all over the country. So it's gonna it's gonna be able to apply pressure and what and, and stuff like that. So that's I mean that's why we need the money. So as of right now, actually I'm looking at the total. We've of the hundred and twenty five thousand, we've raised eighty three thousand six hundred and seventy two bucks. Wow. So that's just in, that's in five days. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, that's unbelievable. So, wow. So, Praise God. Uh I don't know if I don't know if we'll still be raising money when this show comes out. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> but you 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 could, you could check out an abortion now dot com and find out what the total is that we need, uh and and uh yes, yes. I mean Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's that time where you can go to endabortionnow.com and pay your offerings there. <laughs> we just want to thank you for listening to Cross Politic, our special guest, King Ginger from Apology of Radio, doing some great things over there for the Lord at Apology of Radio. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Be sure to go to Endabortion Now. You can help end abortion by running your business well. That's right. And, and pay your tithes at endabortionnow.com. Don't go, don't forget to go over to Cross Politic. Buy a few t shirts. We don't mind. We don't mind. A little coffee, a couple mugs. Some coffee, you know. Some mugs for that coffee. Hey, oh, you got a nice shirt on right now. I do, I do. Hey, representing. And also, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share us. Share us is money for us. Amen. And uh, email us memo at crosspolitic.com. Until next week. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Go fight, laugh, and feast. Amen, amen, amen.